Wow, this one came so unexpectedly. On March 8th, it was announced that actor Jan Michael Vincent had passed away at the age of 74 from cardiac arrest. His actual date of death was February 10th, almost one full month earlier. What happened? Why was the announcement of his passing delayed? Well, if you're watching this video to find out, you should probably stop now because that's not the kind of videos I make. Instead, I prefer to remember the man. They are my memories, so I won't mention everything that this guy has been in. Just the highlights according to me. And this is where we've got to start. The biggest highlight, at least for me, has to be this show, Airwolf, a mid-80s classic. Jan Michael played Stringfellow Hawk, a rogue pilot who had been involved in the testing of Airwolf, which was a super advanced experimental helicopter with amazing weaponry and ridiculously cool technology. Hawk is contracted by a secret government agency to retrieve Airwolf, which has been stolen. And when he does re finally retrieve that copter, he doesn't give it back. I probably gravitated to this show because of my deep love for this super cool helicopter. Yep, I know the Batman TV show from the 60s was cheesy, but it sure was a lot of fun. And among the cool stuff that Batman and Robin had at their disposal was the Batcopter. Now, it wasn't as cool as the Airwolf Copter would turn out to be, but it still was awesome and it fostered a love in me for all types of amazing vehicles that would help our heroes, whoever they might be at the moment, out of pickle after pickle. So Airwolf was a really great show and Jan Michael, well, he was riding high. At that point, he was one of the most highly paid actors on television. I believe it was something like 200 grand an episode. Holy crap, Batman. Even now, that feels like amazing money. And you know what? I think he deserved it. Along with his co-star, Ernest Borgnine, Jan Michael elevated Airwolf to the point where the episodes felt very cinematic. He was a genuine movie star, and many of the special two-hour episodes really felt like they deserved to be on the big screen. Of course, Airwolf wasn't the first thing that I had seen Jan Michael in. More than a decade prior, I'd fallen in love with a little Disney film called the world's greatest athlete. I loved this movie so much. I even bought the novelization. Back then we couldn't just watch movies over and over. We had to find other ways to relive the film. And novelizations, well, they were one of the best. Actually, the only time I saw the movie on a big screen was at an outdoor theater in Bountiful, Utah. My mother let me bring a friend, and as the movie started, we were still outside goofing off in the playground. Yep, they really had swings and slides at those things. At least the one in Bountiful, Utah. Anyway, before long, we were captivated by this story of a young man named Nanu, who was kind of like Tarzan, and he was recruited by a college so that they could be competitive in track and field. I know, I know. Anyway, actors Tim Conway and John Amos were along for the fun, and you know what, even to this day, I really enjoy this movie. Jan Michael's filmography is vast. I'm not even going to try and mention them all, but here are three movies that I enjoyed with him as one of the lead actors. Big Wednesday co-starred the future greatest American hero, William Catt, along with Gary Busey. Hard Country had Kim Basinger in it. And Damnation Alley was an adaptation of the Roger Zelazny science fiction classic. Fast forward a decade or so to the 90s, and while Jan Michael was still a presence, especially on TV, the work he was getting was not what he was used to. His lack of opportunities had nothing to do with talent, but rather personal demons that he had been battling with for years. Sadly, after a while, the work completely dried up. I believe his last acting gig was in 2003 in a movie called White Boy. I can't comment on it. I haven't seen it. More recently, the effects of hard living really seem to be taking their toll on Jan Michael. And in 2014, an infection led to the amputation below the knee on his right leg. And while he had a prosthetic device to help him get around, he was frequently seen in a wheelchair. Couple that with the fact that Jan Michael owed the IRS a substantial sum in back taxes. And well, let's just say I'm sure he was hoping for better times around the corner. Sadly, those times never came. So that's it. I know, kind of a bummer, right? I'm sorry about that. But the man really does deserve to be remembered. He was a talented actor, and that should be his legacy. Let's wrap things up with a pic of him during happier times. This time in the classic Burt Reynolds flick, Hooper. 
All right, now it's your turn. Were you a fan of Jan Michael Vincent? If so, please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Maybe even share it on Facebook or Twitter, and I would be honored absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.